Hello my charmed ones and welcome back to my channel for another video. Today I wanted to do a little show and tell type video walking you through some new planner goodies that were graciously sent to me by Kiki K. If you're not familiar, the brand Kiki K is pretty popular within the planner community. They are a Swedish design uh, house that is based in Australia and they focus on stationery and home goods and planners. And so a lot of their different planners and stationery supplies and journals and whatnot are pretty popular in the community, I'd say. In fact, the first real planner video that I made that really solidified me in the planner community was a walkthrough of a Kiki K time planner. Now, if you're one of my OGs, you may recall that they have sent me a few other planners in the past, um, but to be really honest, with you guys for a while I haven't been really resonating with the style of Kiki K. A lot of the Kiki K style tends to be a little bit more cutesy, a lot of more girly, um, and a little bit more like pastel and light colors. Now they do definitely have a lot of like neutrals and sort of staple planners and accessories and things like that, but nothing that I was like particularly thrilled about. But when they reached out to me about this latest collection, I saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so my style that I absolutely want to share it with people in my community because I know that there's many of you who also kind of fall into the same or similar style as me. So like a little bit more minimal in terms of like color palette, like black and white and beige and things like that. And a little bit more of what I would say is like more sophisticated feminine as opposed to like pastel girly feminine, if you know what I mean. So if that interests you, definitely you're going to want to stay tuned for the rest of this video. Now, those of you who follow me on Instagram, lucky you, um, already kind of got a sneak peek at all of these things. And I did promise you a full video. So here it is. Just make sure that you are following me on Instagram because I have been giving Instagram followers uh, sneak peeks of things that are coming here on my channel. So make sure you follow me on Instagram, at Miss Trenchcoat, if you're not already. And while you're at it, go ahead and make sure you're subscribed to this channel and give this video a thumbs up because I think you're gonna find it to be nice and fun and informative and these are some beautiful planners. Now, before I get into like an overview walkthrough of the planners, I just wanna show you what we've got because unfortunately, a lot of these things are just too big for the lens that I'm using on my camera right now. So I just wanted to walk you through the pieces so you know what is coming. So the first thing they sent me was this like linen black hardcover goals journal. So this isn't like a goal planner. It is firmly more of a goals journal, I would say. So it's not a place you'd be planning out goals. It's more of a place to uh, maybe ask yourself some questions and they've outlined some questions for you to ask yourself in order to understand like what you want your goals to be and like what's holding you back from them, if that makes sense. So we'll dive into this. They also sent me this beautiful like almond beige colored notebook cover um, that has a faux croc embossing on it. So you'll see that mo this collection is all, other than this goals journal, is all this faux croc, which I absolutely love. And I know that many of you guys have asked me in the past, like where to get that GG New York snakeskin cover that I had, like that faux snakeskin embossed cover, and they don't make it anymore. So I was thinking that some of this collection might be interesting to those of you who have asked me about that in the past. So this is an A5 notebook cover. It's got some great little pockets of things. We'll walk through this and try this out with a few different things to see what fits and what doesn't. And then the last two things they sent me are actually pretty much identical except for colorway. So they sent me these A5 compatible six ring planners, agendas, you know, whatever we want to call them. I don't know if they call them time planners on their site, but they sent me one in the black mock crock that has a gold, rose gold hardware detail. And then they sent me another one in the almond beige color that has a more of a normal yellow gold um, hardware. So I'm going to go ahead and only walk through one of these. I think I'm going to use the black one because I think it'll probably show up better on camera. But these are identical interiors. Um, so I just wanted to make you guys aware because it looks like this new mock crock is coming in these two colorways, which is beautiful. And so if you have a similar style to me, like I said, a little bit more of a grown up minimalist feminine, maybe a little bit more like elegant or sophisticated, you might be interested in these. So let's jump into an overview. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, so first things first, I wanna walk you through a little bit of this goals journal so you can get a peek at it. So it's just got this like linen black exterior. It says goals here embossed in white. And then when you open it up, it's a lot of black and white, which you guys know I really appreciate. And it really is just more of an inspirational type of book for those of you who may struggle with goal setting and goal planning. So this wouldn't necessarily replace any sort of real goal planning system. So if you're someone who uses like my project planning, this is something that could easily fit into that sort of a system, especially because they are sort of going along with the SMART goals system here, which you know is something that I talk about often and integrate into my goal setting as well. So they have basically just some things for you to think about, some like journal sorts of entries here for you to think about. And I don't want to get in too much here, but there's a lot of questions um, and they give you some examples, which is great for you to walk through. And then the second half of this journal is actually like a calendar month dated sort of place where you can kind of keep up with what your goals are and kind of identify and overcome obstacles. So they give you, you know, a space to kind of outline four goals. But this is, again, more about like, why do I want to achieve this goal? What's holding me back? Like, how am I going to get started? Like, what am I going to reward myself with? Right. And then it goes into like a monthly calendar that you can, you know, obviously put the dates in yourself and maybe put in some important schedule items for those that goal and those, you know, those goals and your tasks. So that is, you know, the rest of the second half of this journal. So I don't think we need to go in this too in depth, but definitely something that if you're someone who is struggling with goal planning in terms of getting yourself hyped to execute on your goals, this could be something that is useful for you. So next we've got this a5 notebook cover. And I'm just going to actually tilt this a little bit so you can see this is more of the true color, the almond. I know that my lights are on above, so it's washing it out a little bit. Um, so I'll try to give you guys a few different angles. But this is like a single button closure. It does have a few different pockets in here, which is great. It does come with a, oh, a journal here that's like just like a blanked line journal. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out actually so that we can test out some different other notebooks and see what fits because I know some of you are gonna be interested in that. So they just had it put in the front and the back so that it was one single notebook, but you may even be able to do this like traveler's notebook style and put like one in the front, one in the back, if you know what I mean. Also has a little pen loop. And I forgot to say in the intro, they also sent me this little rose gold pen, which looks perfect with this collection. It's like a sort of rose gold and kind of like a blush, like a dark blush, dusty rose color pen. So that's very cute. Um, I just wanted to point that out as well. And then on the back really quickly, all of these items um, have this sort of metal hardware here that say Kiki K. And on the back of this, there is a nice big like full size pocket. So good amount of storage, I would say, for a little notebook holder. Now, I know the first thing everyone's gonna know is, Alexis, does your planner fit in here? And unfortunately, I've already tried this. The answer is no. So my planner and my bound planning tools are all half letter when you get them pre-bound. And unfortunately, this really is a true A5 size. They have not given you any wiggle room top to bottom here um, for bigger sorts of notebooks. So although you could actually fit this in and close it and it does even button up, um, it's not going to be something that you can easily slide the planner in and out of. So, I mean, it would be up to you if you wanted to take a risk. And I know that you could likely cut this down or fold these corners in and get it to stick in. It's just, like I said, it's not a true fit. Um, so I wouldn't necessarily recommend it unless you're someone like me who can be a little bit more adventurous with their planner supplies. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. Next, I thought I would test out what a moleskin am I doing here. So I definitely am sure that this will fit. Okay, so you can see that, oh, you know what, that, I got this thing on the front still. It's making it hard to put it in. Okay, so this will go in for sure. And that you can even see kind of how this is like actually a pretty tight fit here. Let me do it in the back 
the back might have a little bit better. There we go. The back definitely is where I would stick that instead of the front. But you can get that in and to give you a little bit of an overhead. You can see it, it fits in pretty nicely. There is like a gap here. You could push that forward or backwards as you wanted to center it, but it does fit. This is a standard size with the five, are these the five by sevens? I don't know if it even says it on here. The, this is a pro collection. I think these are like roughly five by seven. So it's not the small moleskins, it's like the standard size. So it does fit that. And then next, I thought I would take a look at a sort of, this is sort of like a very generic mead. I think it's like an A5 planner. It says five and a half by eight and a half. So technically it's saying that it's true half letter, but we'll see. I don't think it is true half letter. I think you might be able to get this in here. Oh, okay. So you can, because this is a little bit of a thinner binding, you can kind of get it in. Like you're going to get a little bit of bubbling here but it does look like you can fit it in. But then the cover, it, a little bit, you might just need to wiggle this around a little bit, but this does seem to fit decently. Like this actually, you can get it in. Okay, so that is this beautiful little notebook cover, and it does come in a black colorway as well. I'm not sure if I mentioned that already. So very pretty, like I said, this is more of the color, more of like a blonde almond color. So next we come to these beautiful zip around A5 six ring binders. And like I said, they did give me both colors, the black with the rose gold hardware and the almond beige color with the gold. And just for simplicity's sake, we're going to walk through one of them because they are identical. So again, exterior here is that embossed croc on their, what I'm assuming is vegan leather. And on the back, they do have this little piece of metal hardware and it does have like a cover on it. I didn't bother ripping that off. I don't, I like to keep the stickies on for as long as possible. But this is a zip around planner, which you guys have been following me know that I'm in my Kate Spade zip around. So I've got to say like these planners are actually a major contender for me right now for my 2020 setup. Like I really have a lot of thinking to do um, about how I wanna set up my planner for the new year. So as you can see, I haven't even like taken things out of this yet. So it does have like some, you know, different sorts of pieces here that are inside, just their sort of like notes and such. And we can together go ahead and take this apart just so you kind of get an authentic experience. Um, I'm not sure how you take this. I'm just gonna rip this off. And it also has a piece of plastic sliding these guys. So yeah, I think that this is great that they use kind of like a rose gold because I just feel like everyone uses regular gold and I'm not the biggest fan of regular gold. I would have loved if this were silver, but you know, can't win them all, right? But it is a beautiful tone of rose gold, which I really appreciate. Now, if you're familiar with any of the Kiki A time planners, like in this larger size, I believe they call this size large, you know that they have a very similar interior in terms of the functionality. So they always have like a zip here for storage, this sort of secretarial pocket. There's a pocket in here that's great for like an extra notebook. Sometimes their time planners actually have a notebook, but this one didn't come with one. And then they've got some like credit card sort of slots here. Um, let's just go ahead and skip to the back real quick. Okay, so I just went ahead and actually took the ISO down on the brightness of the camera so that we could hopefully see these inserts a little more. I didn't realize they were so blown out. But in the back here, we have a slot for a notebook pad, which is what we've got here, just like a simple notepad. Okay, so now let's go ahead and walk through the inserts that you get. Now, these are undated inserts, which is good for some people who are interested in switching in and out of different binders or if you don't have a system yet. Although you guys will know that I'm not the biggest fan of that personally myself. So if I were to use this binder, it would just be for the binder. Although Kiki K does an excellent job giving you guys a lot of different inserts and dividers and things like that. So if you look in here, the first thing they actually have is a set of stickers. And I will say that the one differentiation between this black planner and the almond one is that the almond one, the stickers, instead of being gray, are like a beige color, like a peachy color, I would say. But it's all the same sorts of stickers. 
And then they have some little icon stickers here, which are great, and then some labels down here. You're not really gonna be able to see them, but there's some white labels for you to put likely on the tabs here of the dividers. Then we get into some undated monthly calendars. Okay, so I'm sorry, you guys, for all these little light changes that I'm doing here, but unfortunately, <laughs> one of the things about Kiki K inserts is that their inserts are very lightly printed. Like these are very thin lines for a monthly, and it's a very light gray color. So although you can, you know, see it pretty well in person, it's actually hard to really get this to show up on camera without making the video way too dark. So I'm just gonna, let's see if I can just hold it up like this. So they have undated month on two pages. And one of the things about Kiki K's inserts is that they keep everything separated, which is not something that I usually like. I do prefer like what I call a continuous style of inserts that goes from like the month into the week and week over week until you get to the new month. But they do all of their months together, which maybe that works better for an undated planner. So they have plenty of monthly sheets there, as you can say, see? Then we move into a week on two pages layout. So again, another very minimal light layout here. I'm gonna do the best I can to like let you see this layout here because it is, like I said, very, very lightly printed. But essentially it has a kind of like a double boxed week on two pages. This is the layout that if you guys recently watched my Kate Spade agenda set up, I had mentioned the Kiki K inserts that were kind of similar to my personal size, the way it was like a truncated vertical. But these ones go like, there's a notes box here, then it goes Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and these are just blank boxes, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So then you've got like all of these weekly inserts here. So this is a whole section of just weekly inserts undated, of course. Now then you have a few more sections of this planner, which are actually just lined note pages. So they give you a couple of different sections, but everything insert wise, I believe is the same. So this is all lined in this section. This section again is just lines and more note paper here, just line note paper. And what's in the back? So here in the back, they do have a couple of more different types of, of paper, which is good. They have this quad paper. And is there anything else? That's it, quad in this section, all quad, which is great. And then blank in this last section. So just blank pages if you're someone who just likes to scribble notes blank. And then of course, getting into the back, we have the notebook. Okay, so that is everything inside of the Kiki K time planners. So like I said, if I were to use this, I would use it for the binder itself because this is a wonderful, like a beautiful binder in my opinion. And I do really like the zip around. I think it's been very convenient for me lately to have everything contained and I really don't have to worry about like things falling out or like pages getting damaged. Now, of course they do give you a nice set of inserts, but like I said, I would likely, I would 100% be removing these and using my own master planner inserts because that's the system that I use. But if you are someone who is looking for like an A5 binder, like and is interested in the six ring system, then these are beautiful binders that you may want to consider. And I do wanna point out as well that they do have at least one other size in these same models. And I wanna say it was something called like B6. Now I'm not 100% sure what B6 is. It seems to be a little bit larger than the traditional Filofax personal size. Um, and I know that they do make Filofax equivalent personal size binders as well. Um, so if you are familiar with the B6 size, they do have other sizes of these planners available, which is something to consider. So I hope that this little review has been helpful to you seeing these new options and kind of getting my take on them. But let me go ahead and switch back to a face-to-face -face so we can close out this video. So yeah, you guys, you know me, like this is so my style. Even this beige, this almond is very much my style too. So like I said, these are 
very much contenders for my 2020 planner. Um, I am still super happy though in the personal size. And I think I've told you guys this before that, you know, really in the fall, I end up playing around with more of my inserts and more of my options, likely just as a way for me to like prepare myself for 2019 and what I'm going to do for my 2019 setup. And again, you know, I'm not sure if I'm going to be in a binder system, if I'm going to be in like rings, or if I'm going to be in discs, or if I'm just going to stick to my planner in a, you know, the bound form. But stay tuned for that one because I will be sharing with you guys my 2020 planner setup. In fact, we are going to be setting up our planners live here on my channel on Friday, December 13th at 1 p.m. Eastern time. So I'll go ahead and leave some information about that down below for that live event. I would absolutely love it if you guys would join me and, you know, see where I end up for the year with my planner. I would love to hear what you guys think about these Kiki K time planners, if you're interested in them, if you like the style, if they're not your style. Like I said, these are definitely my style, and I know that there are people in the community who have been asking me about, you know, a replacement cover or something else that would be similar to that GG New York embossed snake print cover that I had been using in the past. So hopefully this gives you guys a little bit more inspiration for what your options are. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video today. If you did enjoy it, make sure to give it a like, make sure you're subscribed for future videos. And until next time, you guys, Bye-bye.